So on Middle East, look, many of you will have seen what's happened over the past 36 hours in Israel, and the scenes are truly, truly horrifying. And uh, as I said yesterday, like, this is not a time for equivocation. Right? We should just be straightforward in what's happening here. And that's that Hamas and the people that support Hamas are fully responsible for appalling, appalling acts of terrorism. We should call it out for what it is. Citizens of Israel are being murdered. Innocent people have been kidnapped, including children. Obviously, that's shocking and it's horrifying, and they should be held accountable for that. And what I've said to the Israeli Prime Minister is that we will provide all the support that they need to make sure that Israel can defend itself against these kinds of attacks. Now, we already have a very long-standing relationship with Israel. We're one of their strongest allies. We've provided in the past the kinds of equipment that they've used to defend themselves uh, over the past couple of days. And as I said to the Prime Minister, we will continue to provide, whether that's diplomatic, intelligence, or security support as they need. I'm chairing a COBRA of my ministerial colleagues this afternoon uh, when we'll continue to discuss the situation, um, but we're in close dialogue with our Israeli counterparts, uh, and I know all of you will join me in wanting to stand steadfast with the people of Israel uh, at this very difficult time for them. срочно остановить боестолкновение, решить проблему с гражданскими лицами, которые в огромном количестве становятся жертвами нынешней ситуации, но и уделить особое внимание причинам, по которым палестинская проблема долгие десятилетия не может найти своего решения, хотя на этот счет есть прямые, четкие, недвусмысленные решения Совета Безопасности ООН, договоренности между Израилем и палестинцами, включая договоренности в Осло и Мадриде, и, конечно же, арабской мирной инициативой.